Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use a winch rig and winching your bait out is a method that's used for a live bait if you haven't got a bait bolt or if your bait bolt's broke if it breaks down batteries run out I always have one of these with me um, this is a Gray's Prodigy probably the most expensive rod going for a winch rod uh, courtesy of a carp angler that couldn't land a catfish so what I've done is I've cut the top end off cut the, all the top end off there just leave a little bit of gap between where it's it's from where the eyes are I've got about I think this is 10 pound line cheap reel as long as you've got any cheap rod any butt end rod it doesn't matter I've got a poly ball and a piece of wood wedged in just in case it all snaps off it'll come free I've then got a bead and a swivel and then I put a clip on it what I'm going to do now, with the help of Charles, is get, demonstrate how it actually works. Right, the, the idea is to get this live bait into an area where I want and I haven't got a bait bolt. And hopefully it'll still be alive, it won't get stunned at anything. So. I've got my, my fish is hooked up on the uh, rig and all I've got there is as you see the end of my rig with the lead weight and I'm going to clip this clip to Chaz's rod to the winch rod you need a fairly heavy lead because when you start winching in you don't want to move this lead once it's in the spot where you want so you need a heavy lead for it so now effectively what we've done is we've connected the two we've connected the two rods together if you haven't got somebody to do it with you, what I usually do is just use the back of my chair and stand the rod up and then take the bail arm off. So if you can stand over there as far as you can, please, please. And then take the bail arm off. Then keep the bail arm and the, the winch rod off. I was gonna do, I'm gonna cast it. Oh, before I do cast, depending on the direction of the wind if the wind's blowing from left to right then the winch rod needs to be on the right because the line will blow and it'll blow out you don't want to get entangled you need to try and keep it in a v-shape if you can if it's blowing right to left then the winch rod goes on the left we're fortunate today there's no wind out at the moment so Right, I've cast that out and it's taking line off the winch rod. What I'm going to do now is leave the bail arm off of my, off my fishing rod. I'm going to leave that off. And as you can see out there, the poly balls come to the surface. Now I can only say that that is probably where, that would be where I'm fishing. If you can now start reeling that in. Put your fishing rod down and slowly reel the poly ball back in so you created a v and the lead weight is staying in the spot that's had a, that's your anchor point there's no rush in doing it neither so just keep it nice and steady when you're doing this right so we've got the rig back Oh, we've got the end of my line back, my fishing line. It's just slightly tangled, but as you can see, it's not a problem. Now what we're going to do is take, separate the rods. Now you can put the winch rod to one side, you don't need that now. Take your live bait rig, I'm using a poly ball rig. <clears throat> so therefore, I've, now now what's happened is I've taken it off the winch rod and clipped it and I always use a clip on for these winch rod when I'm using a poly ball if I, if I need to winch. Um, put that in the water and then with the rod that I'm fishing with I'll just gently start reeling the line back in. Now I've got to be really gentle here because you've got weight on it now with the fish and the poly ball. 
and as you can see if I hold, hold it over to the right and I'm trying to keep a B as much as I can if you had more room I'd step further to the right but I haven't and just gently reel it out now this bait has been out before so he's not that lively if it was a, a fresh bait you'd see him bobbing up and down once he gets to where I cast it out to Again, don't rush it, just take it nice and steady. Right, that's, it's there now, he's at the point you can see when I start pulling his dip in. So that's where I'll be fishing with my live bait. So what I'm doing now is, I'm just going to reel it down, set the rod up as normal. I'll take it up to the surface. Now I'm just going to lower it down a little bit now. So it's probably mid water now. And that's it. That's that's how to winch a live bait out without stunning it or killing it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. And thanks very much. Cheers.